In this video, we are going to see how to make the 3D bottle in SOLIDWORKS software. We will create a new part. Here we are going to use surface tools. So if you can't see surface option in this menu, so right click over here and then enable surfaces. First we are going to make the sketch, we are going to choose the front plane and we are going to choose the normal view and we will click on sketch. First I am going to draw the axis lines. Now I'll add the dimensions to this one. The total height is given by 215 mm. And this distance is 11 mm. This is 15. And this is 1 mm. Now I will create a point and I will add the dimensions to it, 30 distance is 30 the distance of this point from this it is given by 18 mm. Now I will create an arc. The radius of this arc is 40 mm. I'll add the constraints, that is, I'll add relations. I'll select these two lines and now I will add tangent constraint. Now, again, I'll create one more point and I will add dimensions to it from the origin from to this point that is the this distance is 28 mm and now again I am going to create an arc now I will add the radius to it as 200 mm and now I will add the tangent relation by selecting these two curves and then click on tangent. Now from here I am going to draw a straight line. Now and then from this point I am going to draw the arc. Again from this to this one more arc. Now I will give this distance as 20 mm. I will add these two tangent relations. Now I will create a fillet of radius 6 mm. I will add the tangent relationship over here also. And now I will give the radius for this one, it is already taken by default and for this it is 12 mm. Now the sketch is fully defined. And now here we are going to use the surface tools. First we will exit from the sketching mode. Now we will go to the surface mode. And now 
will click on revolve surface by default the profile is selected we just need to choose the axis of the revolution I'm going to choose this as the axis of the revolution and you can just see the preview we'll click on OK now again I'm going to create a sketch in the front plane sorry in the right plane click on sketch and I'm going to draw arc now I will add the constraints 10 mm from this point to this point it is 50 mm radius is 35 now we will click on exit sketch now we are going to create a plane go to features menu and in reference geometry click on plane and now we will choose this end point of the uh, end point of the arc and then click on this equation that is this arc then click on ok now we will make a sketch on it that is the create sketch now I am going to use the circle tool I will draw a circle of diameter 8 mm and then I will click on finish sketch now I am going to hide this work plane and now I go to the surface and now we will use the option sweep select this profile and this path now you can see that sweep has been done now I am going to use the option pattern that is the circular pattern of this part so I am going to features again and I am going to select the circular pattern now we have to choose this as a body that is the object since it is made of two or more features that is first it is made of the arc and then we are going to we have created the plane and then we have used the sheet uh, a sweep option so we are going to choose this one as the body and in directions we are going to select this one and numbers I'm going to give it as 4 now we'll go to the surface and we'll use the option called trim surface click on trim surface and in the trim type select mutual trim and go to the surfaces and select all the faces now all the surfaces are selected now we will go to the remove selections we will choose the objects or things which we don't want you, are, you can just see how the object is or the trim tool works and after applying everything and then we will click on ok now you can see that the trim tool how is that work it will cut only the plane of intersection and depends upon the which type of trim tool we have selected and we will create the similar one we will create a sketch one more and now we will create an arc and now I am going to add dimensions to it See, suppose 160 and the height as 80 mm. I'm going to give the radius suppose 135. Yeah, this is fine. And now we'll click on finish sketch. It shows it is under defined because these two endpoints are not defined properly. But that's not an issue. But we'll click on exit sketch. And again, we are going to create a plane similar to what we have done previously. I'm going to choose the end point and this arc. Now again, we'll choose this plane and I'm going to create one more sketch. 
Now I'll draw the same circle of diameter 8 mm. And now we'll click on finish sketch. I'm going to hide this work plane and go to the surface tool. Again, we are going to use the option sweep surface. First select the profile and then the path. We'll click on OK. Now similarly, what we have done to the bottom part, here also we are going to use the option circular pattern. Here we cannot use the feature and faces. So we'll use bodies option since it is made of two or more features. And in the direction one, we'll choose this first. And the total numbers are four. The spacing is 360 degree and equal spaced. And then we'll click on OK. Now again go to the surface tool. Now we'll use the trim surface similar to what we have used before. Here, remember, it should be a mutual type. And in the selection, we'll select all the faces. That's all the job uh, features what we have done. And we'll go to remove selection and select the objects which we don't want. Now we'll click on OK. We can see that the simple bottle has been made and you can do it using your random dimensions. Uh, here I've shown the tools, how to use trim tools and surface tools. And here we're going to add some visual appearance that is appearance to the bottle. I'm going to add a metal appearance. You can apply whichever you want. Uh, or you can use anything. Or you can go to the plastic also where you are having different types of plastics. You can just add whichever of the material you wish. I am going to add the material polished steel. Alright guys, thank you for watching my video. For more videos like this, please like and subscribe and comment below for any suggestions.